Welcome back to Realism Overhaul. Today we're going to be setting up Venture 1 to fly past Venus to fulfill a contract. This is going to be a monumental mission because this is the first time we're actually sending a probe, or any spacecraft for that matter, interplanetary on purpose. I believe we did have a mission that flew past the moon and ended up out of Earth's sphere of influence, but it never purposefully went anywhere. It was sort of just drifting into the cosmos. Still probably is, to be honest. Anyways, uh, I wasn't sure exactly if I'd have connection at Venus all the way from Earth, so I'm hoping this one antenna will just do the trick. There's a camera under there, so when it's deployed, I'll actually be able to hopefully send pictures or video of Venus back to Earth. Again, just sort of hoping for the best here. Those solar panels will definitely have enough power for when the avionics are running, so electricity is not going to be drained. What I'm doing here is putting a little bit of a little bit of um, delta V capability in the probe itself, as well as RCS here. Uh, what I ended up doing was just using hydrazine and then using, I believe, the 1K Newton thruster, if that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what it was called. And putting that on there with a little bit more hydrazine just so that it has the capability of moving around on its own once it's launched towards Venus, hopefully to be able to either capture in orbit around Venus, or at least put us on a trajectory that flew us back to Earth close enough so that we get um, connection again. Because again, I'm not sure exactly how far Venus is, so I'm, I'm not sure how far we'll be able to talk to this probe. Hopefully we'll be able to actually collect science. That would be definitely preferred. Um, since this mission is not only fulfilling a contract, it's also fulfilling, um, filling out the tech tree a little bit because landing on the moon with the technology we have right now is proving a little bit, a little bit difficult. Uh, um, see all the problems Nero had in the past. Um, I have a hundred science right now, um, but if I can get just a little bit more, hopefully with this mission, I'll be able to unlock some nodes that'll make the moon mission a lot easier. So we have the AJ-10 for the stage that's gonna push away from the Earth to Venus, and that has multiple ignitions, which is beautiful and necessary for all of my missions because I am terrible at planning, and unless I'm just boosting into orbit, I would like to be able to relight those engines more than once. That engine there was the F1. I'm not using that on this rocket. I shouldn't have even used it on Moth 1 uh, because that thing had a thrust to weight ratio of like 13 off the launch pad if I didn't throttle down. And that is entirely too much and definitely, definitely rib breaking for the crew. But anyways, we got uh, two stages into orbit with boosters strapped onto the side of the first stage just to get us off the launch pad successfully. Uh, hoping they don't blow up when they're decoupled, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Anyways, this rocket is fully realized. Venture 1 is just about ready to be sent out to the launch pad. Off to Venus, hopefully to save our program as funds are low. Well, let's go out to the launch pad.
adventure. One is, as you can see here, just a little tiny boost to kick into orbit. I was just ever so slightly suborbital with the first two stages. But we're successfully in orbit in the plane of the moon and relatively in the plane of Venus. Um, I did struggle a lot with getting um, an encounter with Venus. Even with uh, Mech Jeb's Maneuver Planner, I tried to use it as a reference, sort of. It was a little bit difficult. And I was also having a little bit of trouble with the RCS because it didn't appear to be firing. But after a lot of inspection and testing, it was actually working relatively slow and it didn't have any exhaust, but uh, those extendable booms, they were working, so RCS is still prevalent. So here we, we do end up setting a maneuver. The periapsis of Venus was relatively low and we boosted from Earth to Venus. Thank <laughs> you.